Donald Trump keeps moving closer to the delegates he needs to become the Republican nominee. Now, on Tuesday, as you know, Trump, he won Pennsylvania and in the process picked up 17 delegates. And now, one of the questions we had as to how big a win it was has been answered. Word is that at least 34 of the delegates elected who can vote for anyone, unbound delegates, they have announced that they will vote for Trump. Now, that pushes the magic number for the Donald up to 987 delegates, just 250 short of the magic number he needs. But some Republicans still clearly in denial. Richard is pointing at the other Richard, especially U.S. senators. Political reports, they haven't apparently gotten the memo that Trump looks like he's going to win. Since they're fighting to keep the majority, they could be the most impacted, one could argue, in Washington. But the alternative, not much better. That's Ted Cruz. Former Speaker John Boehner, I love this line, he called Cruz, and I'm quoting directly here because I couldn't make this up if I tried, Lucifer in the flesh. So Cruz, not all that popular with establishment Republicans either here. Okay, um, Richard, I go up and down, um, and, you know, whether it's Ryan who wants to believe what he wants, certain Senate Republicans who seem to think that this is just a bad dream, they're going to wake up. Andrew does the math every night. He breaks down with the remaining states the way it's trending right now. If you're in Vegas, you'd get better odds here that he's going to get to the number than he won't. So my question to you is, why do you still believe? Is it just you're thinking with your heart, not your head? No, no, de definitely thinking with, with my head. I, I believe that uh, Trump will lose in Indiana. Uh, that he won't get the number. And just and as a point of reference, right now it's either a toss-up um, or Cruz or Trump's up by a point or two. M my point is it could go either way right now. Momentum clearly in Trump's point. I, I it's a winner take most states, so yeah. even winning by a little could have a big impact. Understood. But, again, there are still uh, Kasich, there's still Cruz, there's still Rubio, Bush. They all have delegates, too, that added up, uh, you know, could make a difference in terms of getting to the convention. Uh, that they haven't released those delegates, those who are not in the race, obviously Bush uh, and Rubio. And I think this really goes to the f convention of the floor, where it, it needs to go. Okay, the, my only problem, Andrew... And the Knicks still have a chance <laughs> of winning the championship. They do, of course. I mean, they're just a few wins away. <laughs> so, so but my point, I'll Andrew, is much. as my much words. as we're not trying to bring our friend down here, he's wrong, isn't he? In that right now, without any of the delegates that are already committed to other candidates who will, you know, free them in Cleveland, if not one of those other delegates voted for Trump, he's still pacing right now to get the number. If everything goes badly in the remaining calendar, he still falls very, very, sh very close to getting to the number that he needs. Indiana could make or break him in terms of getting to that magic number before the convention. But, you know, you look at the path that we've had the last few, you know, the last few primaries, and it, it looks like the, the Trump support is increasing. It's been over 50 percent in the last six uh, the last six primaries, granted those are East Coast states. But yeah, the, the signs are pretty darn good for Donald Trump at this point. Not the, the one of the bigger arguments as to why is because Cruz and Kasich can't seem to get their acts together. This, this you know, unity thing that they had on Monday was done by Monday night. They can't figure out a, a decent strategy to try to stop him. So it, it looks like the perfect picture is painting for, for Trump to and get there. And isn't it true? In Republican circles, well, we saw John Boehner, what he had to say. They hate Cruz. I mean, we had a, we played a soundbite from uh, Lindsey Graham uh, where he talks about that if Ted Cruz was shot on the Senate floor, they could not get a conviction because no senator would turn in the shooter. I mean, he can't make this stuff up. And he's called well, Lucifer you, you, you by his old boss. You have immunity on the Senate floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think the bottom line is, is this. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I think people in Indiana uh, will realize that Trump is, is bad for for the Republican Party, and two, he can't beat Hillary Clinton. I don't believe that he can beat Hillary Clinton. He has, his negatives are too high, okay, among blacks, among Hispanics, among women, he has the highest negatives. How do you win a general election with such high negatives? I, I don't, you're gonna pull out more of the white Cruz male is, vote? Cru Cruz is, 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 is not gonna win either. But the real question from Cruz. this, wait a minute, is what's best for the, let's talk about what's Cruz. best for the Democrats. Now, what's best for the Democrats <laughs> oh is either Trump winning on the first ballot or probably Trump not winning on the first ballot. And let them that fight it out. The spectrum. Well, <laughs> well wait a minute. I'm coming down on the fact that's, that says a fight where they, a convention fight where they deny Trump the nomination with 1,200 delegates will be worse for the Republican Party 
than if Trump cruises in on the first ballot. So therefore, I'm with you. I think Indiana's going to go cruise. I don't think he's going to make it, and I think there's going to be this well, Go back to his narrative, because I've heard Dominic two different schools of thought on it, which is Republicans, no matter how ugly it gets in Cleveland, the establishment's going to say, we don't care. This guy will ruin the party if he's the nominee. We'd rather one year where we might even lose the Senate as a down ticket consequence and whatever happens, um, but we cannot let this guy carry the party mantle. We just can't do it. If that happens, would that be worse than letting him go out there? You and I have heard the same rumors. The oppo research on Trump in Brooklyn headquarters for Hillary, the only worry they have is there's not enough days between the convention and the, and the general election here to get out all the bad stuff they got on him. What would be worse, Trump being the nominee or them denying Trump the nomination? The worst situation scenario for the Republicans would be denying him the nomination. It's never going to get to that. You can speculate all you want. It's over, Richard. He's, the, the Stop Trump movement started about three months too late. He's going to get, what, 1237? 1237. He's going to get the 1237. He's going to be the Republican nominee. And guess what? I've said this, but you guys think I'm on drugs or something. And he, it's not going to be a cakewalk for Hillary Clinton. Remember I told you that. When they rally around Trump at the convention and make him look like the greatest thing since sliced bread, yes, the same RNC that hates his guts right now, that they need that money from the donors, so they're going to have no choice but to embrace him. Watch and see the bump he's going to get out of his convention. Well, you said the donors would give him money. I we heard what Charles Koch had to say, exactly. and he a said, lot of other donors have closed their wallets. Koch said, hey, uh, Hillary looks good right now. <laughs> I mean, you know. What's better, a Trump nomination first ballot for the party, or a Trump denied the nomination? And they give it to a case uh, or which, somebody. What's politic purely <laughs> calculated? I think denying Trump the ballot. If he doesn't get the number, absolutely. It's important for the, the Republican Party. It's important for the what's Senate. What's going to happen to the Trump voters? Oh, you yeah, same question to you. What, what would hurt they're Republicans come back? more? What, do you, I think, think, you think they're going to riot? I think uh, what would hurt Republicans the most is uh, a, a multi-ballot nomination that takes it away from Donald Trump, uh, maybe pushes him into third-party territory or makes him a, a loud dissenting voice uh, and runs the risk of alienating all the Trump hmm. voters. Look, I, you have no faith in the... I've you know been, what? I've been in a four Republican I'm, convention. I'm with Andrew 100% You have no faith in the, in the delegates. I, I think you are underestimating how angry those folks are going to be. But there are if no you try good to answers for the GOP. No. Let's, let's throw that no. out there, too. Coming up next, uh, Donald Trump got serious, believe it or not, and lasted oh, about 15 minutes. He delivered a speech about foreign policy. Question is, is this a sign that he actually could have style and substance here, or is it just the same old Trump here as soon as the teleprompter goes off?